This episode of Sewing Out Loud is brought to you by our SewHere.com members. This podcast and our community is mostly funded by the support of listeners like you. If you love the podcast, check out SewHere.com slash membership to see how you can keep it in your ears for years to come and get fun stuff to boot. Welcome to Sewing Out Loud, the official podcast of ZD Sewing Studio. Here are your hosts, ZD and Mallory. Hello, and welcome to the podcast. I'm Mallory Donahue. And I'm ZD Donahue. And today, Mom, look, look at me. Look at me, Mom. We're going to talk about... I can't do it. My hands are too dry. Ah, snap, 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 snap. We're going to talk about snaps. Like the snap jar. Snap jar. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. In, in, What's a snap um, jar? It, it, it's what um, Reese Witherspoon had in um, uh, the, you know, when she goes to... When she does her thing with Harvard, what's that show called? What's that movie? Legally, Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. They have a snap jar. You know about the snap jar? I know about the bend and snap. No, no, no. The snap jar. And then they take it out and they, they say good things about each other. And then snap, I snap, guess. Snap. I don't remember that. Is that in the movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll have to watch unless the movie I'm, again. Unless I'm hallucinating, which is a possibility. I'm going to have to look that up. Snap jar. Hmm. Okay. What else do they call it? I'm gonna I look, don't know what I'm you're talking Google about. Snap jar. Go ahead. Okay. Well, today we're going to talk about snaps. I realized we had not done an episode on snaps. We've done an episode on closures, maybe. Um, but I thought it would be worth it just to see what kind of minutia we could get into in you know, in the realm of snaps, talk about different you materials. You really confuse people. Yes. Okay. And I'm just gonna say that maybe I should go in and edit the Wikipedia article because it's very short about snap. Oh, fasteners. you mean we could add to it? <laughs> yes. Oh wow. <laughs> so yeah, the snap, the the snap fastener entry on Wikipedia is pretty short, but interestingly enough, it comes up snap jar legally blonde. Oh, okay. I'm gonna watch the movie again you know i've been listening to the musical more than i've been watching the movie in the past several years it's when they put nice things about each other on the little pieces of paper and they put it in a jar and then they take it out and they snap about it okay mom did you know some of the oldest snap fasteners and snap together connectors were made of metal and developed for the chinese terracotta army dating back to 210 bc no but there's did you know no i didn't but snaps are still made of metal Yes, sometimes. The horse halters comprised a gold and silver. Com- yeah, so there's a typo there. Um, comprised of a gold and silver tube were linked with medical, metal snap fasteners and made using advanced fastener making technologies during the Qin Dynasty. Wow. Um, the stirrup of the, the, the technology of the horse stirrup. Yes. Was pivotal. Um, I bet. And. In, it was it was pivotal when people would finally figure it out. I believe it started over in China, um, over in Far East Asia, right. and then at like when the Europeans finally figured it out, it changed the game. And I this is from my history of English podcast. This is, uh, <laughs> but it has nothing to do with snaps. Well, but it no. says but it says well, right. horse halters, which I know is not right. a stirrup, but I'm just saying like. This, these kinds of technologies. So they were basically sort of dressing their horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, what's a halter? A halter is the thing that goes around their head that holds okay. their head. Okay, all right, all right, got it. You know, um, the strappy thing on their head. The bit is the thing that goes in, in their, their mouth. mouth. Right. Okay. Um, and then just for all Horse, of you. Horses were halter tops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? So uh, for all of you at home who can't look up the Wikipedia article because you're listening and cleaning or, or maybe you're driving, maybe you're not at home, there's a few pictures of snaps. And then there's a picture of Roy Rogers wearing a Western shirt with pearl snaps. So yep. we can get into all of Decorative this. Decorative so snaps. Obviously snaps are uh, very old. The technology is very old. There so is, they're older than zippers. Is there what we is know. not a there is not a detailed enough article to talk about like the spread of snaps from different geographical locations, which I guess means I should go back to school and get my doctorate in like in snaps. snaps. Be like Doctor Doctor Mallory Donahue in snapology. Snap, snapology. All right. 
So snaps are, they are, you know, they can be a closure. Mm -hmm. Um, It's not always a closure, right? Just like a button isn't always a Well, right. I mean, it can be be used, I mean, I wouldn't think of it as a closure as much as it can be a fastener to do. Fastener is the right word, isn't it? Right, because we, you know. It's right. And we have a YouTube video, I believe, where I'm doing lingerie uh, guides. And we use little snaps there. Mm -hmm. So Um, you want to talk about, let's let's just talk about materials for snaps. Okay. Let's just start there because that's where we were kind of talking before the podcast Well, my, you know, the first snap I ever saw was this little silver colored snap. Obviously, Mm -hmm. it's not made out of silver. But um, I wonder what it was made out of. Were they brass? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, you know, they used to rust. Yeah. So I bet they don't rust the new ones anymore. I I, I haven't, you know, the current snaps don't tend to rust as yeah, far as the I modern, can tell. Yeah, the modern snap fasteners were first patented by German inventor Herbert Bauer in 1885 as the Federknopf Verschluss. <laughs> Which is a really cool word. That's right. Hyphenated German word. Uh, it was a novelty fastener for French trousers. And there's a little picture of the yeah. these little snaps. These are from 1968. So um, I think we have some of those. Oh, I bet we. Yep. I bet we do. We have got some old. We've got some old snaps. Fasteners. Okay. Yep. So yeah, uh, metal. Different types mm-hmm. of metal. And then, oh, uh, I just want to bring up magnetic. As we talk about, well, we do have metal, those now too, right? right. Like mm-hmm. I just want to bring that yeah, up. Yeah, those are those would be classified in. The I mean, metal they, they ones, are metal, right. you know. So a traditional like metal snap or like traditional snaps, the male part goes into the female part, and there's some kind of like there's a spring a in spring. the in the yeah. female. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Do it. Yeah, trying we're... to block access. I, I, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm, 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 yes. But it so it, it looks like um, two metal bars when you're looking down into right. the female well, part. Well, I think right? it, I think it's almost like a U shape. When you look at like yeah. the back of right. the female, like if right. you're gonna if you're gonna put it on a shirt, it's like right. yeah, it looks like a U. And right. when you're looking down at it, like if it's on your shirt, right, you you'll see, see those, bars. those two little. Uh, they yeah. almost look like little straight pins back there right. or something. Right. Yeah. So then that fastener snaps in there. Now a metal snap won't have. Like, you know, the male part just snaps in by a magnet. So it's not tension as much. Wait a minute. You just said that wrong. You said the, you said part? the metal snap. You mean the magnetic snap. I'm sorry. Snap. I, yes, yeah. I believe you. I, yeah. No, I think uh, you okay. said the metal snap instead okay, of the magnetic. Yeah, sorry, sorry. She means magnetic, everybody. Yeah, the magnetic yeah. snap. It, it, right. It's the magnet that works. It's not right. the, the, you know, the friction that holds it in. Yes. And we have a video of me inserting a magnetic snap um mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. youtube so you mentioned the uh the lingerie snap which let's move on to that okay right that's a nylon snap that you were that it was a nylon snap but i nylon really snaps. like nylon snaps we because nylon they're snaps. clear yeah and well and they don't just dis- tend to discolor anything uh-huh they will melt so if you're planning on pressing or ironing your snaps probably not a good idea um, but I do like them. I like them a lot. And I like, you know, they do not have the two little springy things, the two little wires. Right. So that nylon is formed in a way, you know, that that female and male click, ap- you know, apart and, and click together. Right. It's a little bit of a more flexible. Right material but i do like i do i i'm i like nylon snaps i yeah, really do well and they're, they're they also tend to be a little bit flatter i think and yeah. not quite as bulky they're not expensive either no talk about something to have on hand is like buy if you see nylon right. snaps and we sent these out i believe in the so here box I think long we ago which i'm debating whether or not we should do one for this christmas Ooh. Ooh, yeah, oh. right, indeed. Well, the other, you, you know, there's there's the big nylon snaps, like the coat size snaps. Okay, yeah. That I used to use a lot of bridal. Okay, okay. so there can be different sizes mm-hmm. of these. And then um, I will talk about, like, attachment methods, I think, you know, and another kind of, you know, part. But there are plastic snaps that, those cam snaps, you know, yes. that, like in baby 
garments that is, a lot of them in the, in the diaper covers yes. people use them yes. Yes. yes so plastic i think those are plastic right like well you know i, don't, I guess i, I don't guess know. you know what i don't know exactly they they you know you look at them and you think plastic yeah I guess but i'm not, not exactly sure what material they are yeah i'm not certain either right um and um, there's some sort of compound uh whatever right yes. right Okay, but they appear to be plastic. So there are no like wooden snaps. N- well, I don't know I how mean, that would work. Right? You'd have to have a spring and a spring. Yeah, 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 that would right. be okay. kind of. So I, I, that one has escaped me. If yeah. it's out there. So, yeah. so I was just thinking about like buttons, you know. Right. <laughs> well, and then you know, there's the. I mean, I'm. They're we're decorative. Gonna, we're going to backtrack yeah. here. But there's the, yeah. you know, because you talked about the yeah. plastic looking snaps or whatever. Uh huh. There are the metal snaps that have, you know, the the ring or the cap, right? right? So the ring is usually the side that's like, you know, not public, and the cap is the side where you know you're showing, would be like Roy Rogers pearl, the right, right snaps, which I believe, you know. There could be someone who made a wooden-looking face snap. Well, let's, that's true. Let's talk about application methods then. Well, I think the one rule that a lot of people would really like to know is what part goes where? The female versus the male. You're talking about that male. first? Yeah. Okay. So here's the easy way, I think, to remember it. Can't wait to hear this. <laughs> what goes, I mean, the male goes against the body. Right. Yeah. That's that's the part because you wouldn't want to poke yourself with that. Right. Right. So that goes away from the body. So that if if that if the garment is laying against the body, you are pressing down on the female uh-huh, onto to close the it. male. That that's the way I look at it. Yes. Because you wouldn't want to be taking that. You don't want to stab yourself. Yeah. That little ball head pointed you know thing and pushing it into someone's skin. Because I mean. On myself, like I've missed, you know. Well, when right, I'm, or even or, when you're wearing it, if mm-hmm. you would like lean up against it, that goes, it truly it can go does through. go through yeah. the female part, you know, just that little opening. And so, you know, so that's the way I like to think of it. Right. Okay. So the male gets sewn, you know, up against the body. Right. It's the, it's the, exactly. Right. Exactly. So that's good to know. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about application. So, the nylon snap video for the lingerie guides. Mm-hmm. You're sewing that snap on, right? So there is there's space around the snap, right? Where threads can go through. That's true. Okay, uh, in a lot of metal snaps, mm-hmm. there Same will be way. something right. like this. Those snaps are comprised just of two parts: just that male part and that female part, That's the right. ones that are sewn on, right? That's right. Okay. Um, and they can look just all sorts of different ways. Right. Usually there's four to five to six mm-hmm. of those little eyes that what you're do you going do? to sew through. Give us the tip for when you're sewing on so a snap. So when I sew on a snap. What do you do? Well, one thing. <laughs> I like to not only double my thread, but quadruple my thread. Right. So I have... Two threads going through the eye of my needle so that when I am sewing, there are four threads being applied, right, at once. Yeah, so what you do is you take the length of thread that you want, okay, and you would quadruple that. Well, you would double it. The length of thread that you're... Well... It depends on how you look at it. Yeah, how you look at it. Whatever. Okay, you take your two cut ends. You're going to take two cut ends... And thread them through the needle. And thread them through the eye of the the needle. needle. Now you got four threads working. Now you have four threads okay. working for you. And not only does it make it faster, it makes a cleaner, better, nicer look. Oh, yeah. So all I have to do, if I go through those, the eyes mm-hmm. or the holes, you know, that are used to attach the snap, if I go through them once, I already have four threads. If I go through them twice, I have ten, or I mean eight. Eight, geez. yeah. Eight. We, and eight is perfect, okay. usually. You know, I have a problem. Mm-hmm. I can't get over the fact. I do this, too. Uh-huh. Like, you taught me. I do this. But I still want to, like, go through there, like, four times. And that's No, if many. you go through twice, <laughs> you've got eight threads. I know. I'm like, calm also, down now. <laughs> you know, the other thing that I really like to use is the silamide thread. Yeah. Okay? So it's a waxed-covered uh-huh. polyester thread. Uh-huh. Okay? And I like that. If I don't... Use the silamide if I'm trying. Okay, so matching threads on a 
snap. Okay, you know, it's neither here nor there. You can match your fabric. Whatever, we're not going to tell you what to do. But it's not going to show. <laughs> you know, this but is not the supposed time it's to, not show. to show. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, we have silamide here in like off white and white, and that's what I will what? put snaps on with. Okay, tangent. What about when you see, I mean, not what about, but hey, um, this is cool, on like couture garments where you picture like a really heavy coat snap that uh-huh. is like if it opened up you'd see a ton of metal and on these couture garments they like cover the snap they cover in the fabric snap. they cover I'm it like, with the fabric that is just so extra right like that is like right so cool i'm never gonna i mean maybe one day i'll do it for I've fun done but it. i'm like yeah. oh my gosh look right. at that snap coco chanel especially, well you know especially <laughs> if you have a big coat snap it's easy it's it's not no it's, it's not, not that difficult to do you wouldn't right. do it on an itty bitty snap right. probably um but yeah i do i remember the first time i saw that and you know like, the other thing we didn't talk about is there are snap strips you can buy oh. snaps on a twill strip shoot you're right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I used to use that a lot in costume. We, we have that. Yes. Yeah. So snap tape is what that's yes, called, snap right? snap tape. Uh-huh. And those are snaps that are, um, like, riveted onto the tape. Right. So you Lo- sew the tape on. Yeah. So lovely segue into mm-hmm. snaps that are applied in a riveting fashion, do you think? that What would you say in a, like... Not a sewing. They're not sewn. Right. They're you, you're talking about maybe the decorative snaps that have... Well, not just talking? decorative, but the, like the, the prong snaps. snaps. Yeah, the prong snaps. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take a break and come back and talk about those. Okay. Hello there, you fabulous sewing machine. Did you know that our podcasts and Facebook group are mostly funded by our fabulous members? We have corporate sponsors, but our individual members are the people who ensure that we can keep producing our quirky, inclusive, sometimes slightly offbeat sewing media. You can support the sewing media you love starting at $1.50 per month. As you go up the scale, you get perks like a universal wardrobe planner, the So Long and So Happy zine, access to patterns and discounted classes, and even a monthly live broadcast from Mallory and me. We are so thankful for our past, present, and future members. Any level of membership is helpful toward producing our podcasts, videos, and the time it takes to moderate our growing Facebook community. Go to SewHere.com slash membership to check it out. sewing out loud. All right. So these snaps that we're talking about are somehow applied to your fabric. Um, There are four parts to the snap. There's the male and the female, mm-hmm. and then both of those parts have some kind of prong, other half it's prong, a, or right. but like what are those cam? You know, I've never used the plastic cam snaps. They they're a little bit different. They sort of roll, right? You know, and it's they a, have like a little gun. Yes. A, okay. A, yes. So okay. it's not that's not a prong, is what I wanted to. Right. Do. Right. The, yeah. So what? what we don't know if they're nylon or plastic yeah, or whatever some sort of, of, you know, conglomerate <laughs> of that. But they sort of roll on. T- they remind me of putting a grommet in. Uh, I agree. Yes. I agree. It reminds yes. me of snapping a grommet together. Right. The snaps snap in. So right. these snaps are a little more, I mean, I mean, they're a little more durable. They might just serve a bit of a different purpose. Uh, than sewn on snaps, and they can be decorative, right? Right. The thing about those is what what you assume. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, they're used on diaper covers. A yeah, lot. yeah. This is where a snap is used over and over and over and over uh-huh. and over again, and maybe tugged on a little bit. <clears throat> so they are durable, and you're not wearing out the that fabric. thread yeah, or the thread. Right. Yeah. yeah. The thread doesn't get worn out. Right. Right. Um, hopefully, you're not going to wear out the fabric. The fabric. And, and a lot of times, you're going to reinforce the fabric. Right. Or you're going to go through more than I one wanted, layer of fabric. Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. Right. Yeah, for sure. We need to we need to keep that in the notes. But yeah, you know, you with the with the metal snaps with the prongs, uh, there are a few ways to install these, and we have a favorite for right. shizzle. Right. Oh, okay. absolutely. We love the snap source. Snap setter, and the reason we like the snap source setter and the snap source snap snaps 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 mm-hmm. is the prongs are longer on the snap source um, snaps prong Pro- long yeah. they're called long prong snaps long, right they are yeah. called long and believe me 
it's almost hard to tell they're longer than whatever yeah. the other snaps are, um, the other generic or non-generic snaps, the other brands. But it, believe me, it makes a difference. I know. Yeah. So I, I mean, because I've used both, and when Snaps Source came out, I was so impressed. I I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe. First of all, it goes through more layers. Right. And it stays. Mm-hmm. And then their system of setting them on that that little setter, platform, that little yeah. flat plastic setter, is just foolproof compared to. Um, oh, I've messed it up. Well, <laughs> it's it, it, it it's so much better, so much better than you know using the the prong setter thing that looks like a pair of pliers. We are not a fan of the pliers. No. Yeah, you can't get it with the snap if, setter. If you use the snap setter correctly, yeah, it what? should work <laughs> properly. With the snap setter tool we're talking about, you use a hammer. That's right. To set the snaps, right. and there's just no way that you're getting there's, the same there's force a, there's with the pliers. There's basically a die space to put, yeah. you know, the 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 prong piece, and then you put the the fabric in, and then you put the um, female or male part, and then you put the right. setter, the rolls, but the what prongs. My point it's was, perfect. my point was, right. You can't get the pressure from a pair of pliers. No, that you can get from a hammer. That's right. No matter who you are. Okay. That's right. Um, I think in the well, first of all, it's direct pressure versus right. indirect pressure. Right. No, right. It, was a, it was a whole slew of things. I think in the video where I put the magnetic snap in and I bend those prongs, I say yeah. I'm super strong or something. <laughs> This was in the days where you didn't make jokes in your sewing YouTube videos. It's very common now, okay? Right. But I'm talking like, oh my gosh, yeah, 15 years ago or something. It was not done, okay? Right. We were pioneers. Um, anyway, so <laughs> especially in foul language. That's right. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever cussed in a YouTube video. Um, I mean, oh, our, pod, our Maybe podcast. Maybe we should. Maybe get we should up there. figure that out. Okay, so with those long prong snaps, though. Here's here was my big epiphany. Okay, it comes with instructions, so you can read them. You can read them. Okay, and then you can be like, oh, I don't have to keep guessing which side this goes on. Da, da, da. Right. And what mom was saying, um, with the pearl and the ring. So on some of those, on those diaper covers, those uh-huh. are the plastic ones with like they right. look like little plastic, you know, circles. Right. Um, but they look like little pieces of candy. Yeah, and like, they like they, almost like a little M M&M and M or Skittle or something. And I don't want to use the word button because I don't mean button yeah. like a sew on button. I mean like button on like a right. You know, video game right. controller or something. Uh, so these long prong snaps though, they can have the ring. Where you see the fabric right. through the other side of the snap, okay, or it can be a pearl, right. or it can be a color, or it can be a crystal. And they have them in different sizes. Oh yeah, lots of different sizes. Right. And when I say in sizes, I'm say, I mean the diameter of that cap. That's right. So there are big old twenty-four right. millimeter ones. Right. I think might is that the biggest? I don't know. That might be the biggest. Twenty or twenty-four, yeah. and then there's like sixteen. You and know, and then there's the baby snap, itty bitty snaps. I think it's uh, an eight or something. Yeah. Is that right. Um, but I, like I said, I haven't used the plastic or the nylon cam snaps or whatever they're made of. I, have, but I hear a lot of good things. I about actually them. have. I have never needed to. I mean, where I've used them is basically a baby lock. Okay. Yeah. Um, on projects there and everything, I like them a lot. They were just fine. I have never found the need for them. Right. Um, you didn't make a bunch of diaper. I didn't covers. make diaper covers. Okay. Um, which is an excellent. You know, you children's see, clothes is yes. where you see them, and you see you see them sort of in, um, I would say, like craft type projects, like a bag maybe versus. It's not so much adult clothing where you right. see them, right? Um, so yeah, those, but we do like that long prong snap setter, yep. the long prong snaps. They're by Snap Source. They're available, so those those are our faves. Right. Um, now let's talk about the magnetic snap. Uh, I believe that there are different ways that the, these can go in. Uh-huh. Like, uh, but the, the video that I did, these magnetic. It's probably the most common way. I, yeah, yeah, they just come with two prongs, mm-hmm. and you literally slit your fabric. You know the right, the, right. the side of the fabric where the snap needs to go. You put those two prongs in, and you bend it out. Um, but in the video, I didn't prep the fabric the way Mom. Wanted me to. I I put like a piece of felt, but you said you'd put another piece of something. How would you prep a piece of fabric before you put a magnetic snap in? 
Well, not only would I put a piece of felt behind so those prongs go through, because you, when you bit the prongs back, you don't want them coming back into the fabric. Very but true. But I would also put some, I would have some type of like an iron-on stabilizer. I think I didn't do the iron-on stabilizer. Yeah. Like I did the piece well, of felt. Well, that's going to just, it's an extra thing. Sure. Prevent fraying or anything like that. Stabilize that fabric. And again, you had that snap, the back of that snap, rubbing on that fabric. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, so. Those prongs. Yeah. Are flaring out. Yeah. And they, they are an I've seen and these are used mostly, really, purses. in purses yeah, and bags purses and things mostly, like that. That's, yeah. This is not generally a no. garment thing. No, they're they're right. rather bulky. They're very three right. D. You know, I I and you know, a lot of people talk about using magnets in clothing right. and in costumes. I'm not a big. I mean, I'm sure there are times when they can be super duper useful. Right. But here's the thing about a magnet. It'll stick to any old other magnet that's out <laughs> well, there, right? <laughs> it will stick to the magnet on the person that's dancing next, next to you. you. Yes, it And will. I have seen that happen oh, where yeah. someone's wearing two costumes and that somebody else is not wearing any. Yes. Because, so you have to think about those things. And then the other thing that a magnet lacks that we talk, like this is right. all coming full circle. Uh, is everybody ready to have like an inception moment here? The snap, the magnetic snaps lack that spring. Yes. So the least bit of pressure. Right. Which is what you which, want in a which, purse, which, right? You want to be able to open right. your flap which, easy. Which, in a costume, if you are uh-huh. looking for that specific characteristic, then go for it. Right. Now, you know, my thing about snaps and costumes is they're really only good if you're taking the costume off off uh-huh like what, what we're talking what we're talking about right now is dress either you know donning a costume uh-huh. or taking it off during the performance right. right this is what we're specifically talking about right now so that they you know you don't want snaps if you have to put something on or it's a quick change where you have to put something on because you have to match each snap up, right okay right. and a if zipper you don't is, is nicer yeah, right zippers better Velcro can work. It's not perfect. But, you know, usually a parka zipper (laughs) is what you want. Um, So, uh, you know, snaps have their place. And I used a lot of snaps and a lot of the prong snaps Mm -hmm. where, um, especially in men's costumes, where they had on, say, like a shirt or a dress shirt. Right. And that had to be unsnapped, but it looked like a button. So it got unsnapped and then quickly... You know, it didn't have to, it was thrown to the side. Right. It did not have to be put back on again until Yeah, they, you don't want somebody to be snapping something up quick. Right. Right. And the, and the other thing about magnets and Velcro, like you said, they all stick to each other. So if these costumes wind up in a pile someplace, they could, like, intermingle. Yeah, I and just And you have to undo them. I, I just have never been like, oh, I wanted a magnet in that costume. <laughs> Because it just seems like kind of a high risk. Magnets situation. are good on things like a cape at the neck of a cape if it's something you just have to take off isolated. easily. Something isolated. Right. And if you think about it, if it's up at the neck, it's away from most things. You just have to think about what you're doing. Yeah. The okay? other thing is, um, I just want to say uh, snaps versus Velcro. And right. people might be like, when would you ever want to use a snap instead of Velcro? Velcro's well, so before easier. Velcro was invented, well, I used a lot of snaps. True. <laughs> also, Velcro is loud. Velcro I, is loud and Velcro gets dirty. I Because it picks everything up. Yeah, I costumed a show and right. the girl had to change on stage. Yep. And I, yeah, the Velcro was so loud. Yeah. Um, you know, and it I was, mean, I think we're, you know, we're, we're on a tangent here. That's okay. Away from snaps. Yeah, but do you remember when I made the big flowy silver thing that went on the girl? Yeah. It was like eight yards long. Yeah. And what did we use? Do you remember? Well, I'm having some like. We used ties. I'm having some PTSD about that. Like I'm envisioning myself over there. Yeah. Like, you, oh, you know, all this but the thing is, is what we used. This was a big. You long, made buttonholes. Well, it was buttonholes with drawstrings. We, we like podcasted about this, I swear. Well, we made a we made a short and we made a video. Video. Yeah. I don't know if we, but so another thing about a cape is you can just have a ribbon tie and right. you're just pulling that tie mm-hmm. and it's so easy. And people go, well, how, how do you get the end of the tie? Well, you you actually put a bead or a button. 
You put a on ring the piece on that it. you're, yeah, or a ring on it. We, that's what we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, put, yeah, we put okay uh, those wooden rings yep. that came from a beading kit that you yep. got me when I was in like fifth grade yep. are the best tie pulley that's things right. in our so studio. You got to, like Mallory said, you have to think about the noise and you have to think about is it going on and off or wow or this or that. The other thing about Velcro is Velcro, when Velcro launders, it can really screw up the oh, other sure. items. Yeah. You know, Velcro is amazing at many things, that's for sure. Yeah. But, you know, it does have its drawbacks. Um, I want to go back to snap tape. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm envisioning snap tape, and it's like twill tape there's, with there's a bunch hook of... and eye tape too. Everybody. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, there's like little, isn't there like Velcro dot tape that's not just Velcro? There's Velcro dots. Okay, Is there dot never tape? mind, never mind. I don't know. I'm probably just okay. making something up. Okay, um, you're totally right though. Of course, uh, hook and eye tape's really cool. Um, with snap tape, so I'm picturing twill tape, and there's snaps on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where do I sew? There's a snap in the middle of the twill tape. Mm-hmm. How do I sew that on? You're sewing down the sides. Okay. And not always just down the sides. Depending on what the application is, sometimes I will sew, you know, a horizontal line between the two of them. Mom was getting very, like, excited about snap tape and whispering into the microphone. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, do you, know, do you understand? So, if I you do. have a really, really, really long space. piece... You yeah. may want to tack it between mm-hmm. in a few spots. Do you? I imagine that using like the narrow zipper foot is a good. And that's thing what for I this. often would do. Is that do. what you use? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Often. You know, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever put that on anything. You like, know, I know what it is. And, you know? and when I would use that, oftentimes was in costuming where yeah. I didn't want the the Velcro noise, mm-hmm. or I didn't want the Velcro naked on the. You know, a lot of times you had a costume that had something maybe like feathers or something. And if the Velcro and the feathers got together, the Velcro would win, you know. So, like, what if there's a costume with Velcro and feathers and magnets and (laughs) it just, it morphs into its own creature and it becomes alive. It's like, you know, there are people that think Velcro is the answer to everything and I don't. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm not always a fan of it. Uh, yeah. But it, it, it's stiff. It you know, there's a lot of things. But, yep. oh, it makes a great dog corset, remember? There you go. Yep. Look Absolutely. up dog corset YouTube uh, uh, for uh, ZD Sewing Studio. Um, do you, do you remember recently in the group someone was like, I'm looking into making a beekeeping suit. And I was like, we Here had you go. That. And yep. we have a whole video on it. <laughs> That's along with the dog corset. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, um, same yeah, same video. Oh my gosh. Why did we make hour long videos? What were we thinking? I don't know, because I don't want to watch an hour I mean, long video. Right. There people like them. I know. You know, but so, I don't want to watch them. So what I'm saying is well, I didn't want you to say you didn't want to watch them. I wanted okay. to complain about editing them. Okay, that's what I really want oh. to do. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. You said the wrong Maybe thing. Maybe you can edit this out. <laughs> Maybe someone can edit it. Okay. No, I uh, I just, I think about that and I'm like, what the heck? You know, so why did we do an hour-long video? Ah, anyway, but we did. We did hour-long videos back in the back in the day. They were called Inside ZD Sewing Studio. That's right. We used to have an up. audience. Yeah. I mean, we have an audience now. Right. But no, a live audience. You mean like a live studio audience. Yeah. And you get a pack of nylon snaps. And And you you get get a pack of nylon snaps. And you get one. And you get one. And you get one. We're having a good time on this episode. All right. (laughs) Yeah, I hope anybody. I hope somebody learned something about snaps. Um, The other thing is, and I'll just bring this up, okay? That someone came to me one time and said, Oh my. I need to, I'm making this, you know, vest for my friend's daughter rides rodeo and we're making it, you know, you told me to use this uh, dot sequin stuff and that's when dot sequin was kind of new, you know, the plastic, yeah. okay. And and I, I said, you know, what I told her is you get a lot for a little, you know, yeah, it wasn't you know, expensive, you a lot get a of lot of shine, sparkle, <laughs> you know, and it, she's like, I can't make buttonholes in it. Oh, That's yeah. right. You cannot <laughs> make buttonholes in it, or at least not decent buttonholes, uh-huh. okay? So what you do... Is you sew the button on and you put a snap behind it. No, that's a okay. So right? that's a really great thing to I mean, talk about. Yeah. yeah so you know the snap, you know, 
And and you don't want Velcro on that either. No. Because it's going to get horse hair in it and everything else, mm-hmm. you know. So, you know, she wanted these buttons on there. And actually, there are quite a lot of buttons, you know, and I'm like, you just sew snaps, snaps and then you get to yep. sew your buttons that's, wherever that's you want. Right. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good application. And then we also do the snap, you know, between the buttons. There you go. So if you have gaps or it's mm-hmm. not laying right or something, snaps between the and that's a very couture thing to yeah, do too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I think that's been I think it's been a snappy episode. Uh, if you have anything else to add about snaps or any good uh, stories to share with us, you can always find. Or right, if episode. anybody wants to tell Mallory what a snap jar is from Legally Blonde, I gotta go watch that movie. Now. I can't believe she didn't know it. Wouldn't you Snap think that the jar. Yeah, that the young woman would know instead of the old lady? Oh, I'm impressed, but not surprised, Mom. Okay. I bet you know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, thank you all for listening. You can find us on Instagram. We're at SoHereCom. And you can email me at Mallory at SoHere.com. ZD? So long and so happy. Thanks for listening to Sewing Out Loud. For even more expert sewing advice, visit SoHere.com.